It's snowing. Small soft flakes fall quietly from above. It's snowing. It is cold and the winter clouds fill the sky. Clouds form when water evaporates from rivers and lakes and oceans and then rises and cools. Clouds are made up of billions and billions of droplets of water floating in the air. Evaporate means a liquid changes into misty droplets. Droplets. Droplets are drawn larger than actual size. Real droplets are much smaller. As the air gets colder, the droplets of water freeze. Several frozen droplets join together to form an ice crystal some different ice crystals. As ice crystals form, they may look like needles, columns, flat plates, and many other shapes and designs. Ice crystals come in many shapes and designs. Ice crystals are drawn larger than actual size. Real ice crystals are much smaller. Ice crystals of all shapes and sizes float into one another and join together to create a snowflake. Soon, more and more ice crystals attach themselves, making the snowflakes larger. Snowflakes form when cloud temperatures are below freezing, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. When snowflakes get large and heavy enough, they fall from the clouds. It's snowing. Some different snowflakes. Scientists believe that no two snowflakes look exactly alike. Each one appears to be different in design, shape, and size from all other snowflakes. Snowflakes almost always have either six sides or six points. Snow falls on all seven continents. North America. Snow falls so most often falls in places where winters are cold, but it can snow in places where winters are usually warm. Europe. Helsinki, Finland is the snowiest city in Europe. It has an average of 101 days of snow per year. Asia. It can be bitterly cold and snowy in the Gobi Desert. Africa. And Tanzania, there's always snow or ice on top of Mount Kilimanjaro, which is within sight of the equator. Australia, there is skiing in the snowy mountains of Austria. South America, in Chile, it snows atop one of the country's most active volcanoes, Villarica. Antarctica, less snow falls on Antarctica than any other continent. The equator is an imaginary line around the middle of Earth, equally distant from the North Pole and the South Pole. Snow falls to the ground in different ways. We say that it's snowing when there is a steady snowfall. Snow flurries. There are snow flurries when it snows lightly and for short periods of time. Snow flurries can start and stop and then stop, start, and stop again. Sleet. It is sleeting when snowflakes partially melt as they fall and then freeze again before they hit the ground. Sleet can be dangerous. It can be slippery outside. Snowstorm. There is a snowstorm when a lot of snow falls. It may be windy. It can snow for hours. It can even snow for days. Snow covers the ground. blizzard. When falling snow and snow on the ground are blown by strong winds, snow drifts are formed. Snow drifts are large piles of snow that form along roads, up against buildings, and in many other places. A blizzard happens when lots and lots of snow falls. The wind is howling. The snow is drifting. There can be whiteouts. A whiteout occurs when there is a heavy snowfall with strong winds. It is very hard to see. Blizzards can be dangerous. 
Snow day. Meteorologists are scientists who study weather. Meteorologists often warn about dangerous conditions when a snowstorm or blizzard is approaching. People are told to stay home. Schools and businesses may close. A winter storm watch means that a storm may be coming to your area in 12 to 36 hours. How severe the storm may be is uncertain. A winter storm warning means that your area can receive heavy snow within the next 24 hours. A blizzard warning means that heavy snow, strong winds, and whiteout conditions are coming. Snow drifts can be high, and the temperature will be low. Sometimes, on busy city streets, machines called payloaders lift snow and drop it into a dump truck that haul the snow away. The weight of snow or ice can bring down tree limbs and power lines and cause other damage. Cleanup crews get to work. After big storms, there is a lot of work to be done. Snow plows push snow off the roads and highways. Walkways are shoveled. Snow can be fun. People bundle up to stay warm and dry when they go outside. Kids build snowmen and snow forts. Swish! Some people go skiing and snowboarding. Sleds and toboggans slide down hillside. Some children make snow angels. Others take long walks in the quiet countryside. It is beautiful and peaceful all around. Snowshoes help you walk on the surface of deep snow. Snow can be helpful in many ways. It acts like a huge blanket that protects plants and wildlife. As the snow melts, water trickles into rivers and streams. It also seeps into the ground where plants will grow when warmer weather returns. Look all around. The snow is beautiful. How to stay warm. Layers of lightweight clothing, scarf, coat, hat, sometimes earmuffs, jacket, gloves, jacket with hood, mittens. Some children wear snowsuits, boots. Be prepared if a snowstorm is coming. Checklists. Fresh water, spare batteries, first aid kit, non-perishable foods, flashlight, battery-powered radio, shovels. Make sure you are in a safe place with an adult. Bring your pets inside. Listen to weather forecasters and be on the alert. See snowflakes close up. Go outside when the snow is falling gently. Bring a piece of black paper with you. Hold it out flat toward the sky. Snowflakes will land on the paper's surface. You can study snowflakes closer by looking through a magnifying glass. Look very carefully and you will see many snowflake patterns. Snow, snow, and more snow. It's believed Wilson Bentley was the first person to take pictures of snowflakes. He used a camera that magnified them. In 1928, he took more than 100 photographs in Vermont, where he lived. He became known as Snowflake Bentley. When the temperature goes above the freezing mark of 32 degrees Fahrenheit, snow that has fallen begins to melt. When the temperature drops below the freezing mark again, it turns to ice. The largest snowflake ever recorded was in the state of Montana. It was 15 inches, 38 centimeters wide. Perhaps the most famous blizzard in the United States took place from March 11th to March 14th in 1888. It is called the Great Blizzard of 1888. Almost 50 inches, 1.3 meters of snow fell along the East Coast from Massachusetts to New Jersey. Winds blew more than 45 miles per hour. Some snowdrifts were even as high as 50 feet. Everyday activity came to a halt for almost a week. The biggest snowfall in one day happened in Silver Lake, Colorado on April 14, 1921. The snow was 6 feet 4 inches, 1.9 meters deep. A rainstorm may result in 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters of rain. If it had snowed instead, there would have been about 10 inches, 25 centimeters of snow. An avalanche is when a mass of snow suddenly slides down the side of a mountain, destroying everything in its path.